Right now, there is growing concern about the flu after another child has died from the virus in Florida. The latest victim, 12 years old in West Palm Beach. News 6's Mark Lehman explains how CentraCare saw an all-time high yesterday with nearly 300 flu patients here in Orlando. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say this year's flu virus is so widespread, it's rampant in 49 of 50 states. Now here at CentraCare, physicians say they have been extremely busy and that outbreak is likely to continue for several more weeks. I mean, I've been working at CentraCare for about 20 years now, and I've never seen it this busy. Dr. Tim Hendricks says this is the worst flu season he's ever seen. CentraCare backing up that claim on Tuesday when they hit a record number of 291 cases in a single day. That's typically what we'd see in a week uh, during flu season, but in just a single day we saw that many people. According to the CDC, the flu has killed at least 30 children nationwide. The latest death, 12-year-old Dylan Winnick of West Palm Beach. No family should feel the same pain that we're going through right now. The fierce outbreak has medical professionals urging families to recognize the early symptoms. You're going to have that sudden onset of high fever, body aches, fatigue, cough and sore throat. That's typical of the flu. The first 48 hours are crucial to get medication like Tamiflu, and it's never too late to get a flu shot. While this year's vaccination is estimated at about 30% effective, Hendricks says it's still the only path toward prevention, and there are still proven benefits if you catch the flu. The risk of complications like uh, ending up in the hospital or even death is a lot less uh, if you've had your flu shot. Here in Seminole County, the school district is echoing the advice of CentraCare. In a letter sent home last week, administrators urge parents to keep sick family members at home and get to a doctor at the first sign of any symptoms. In Altamont Springs, Mark Lehman, News 6. For more answers to your flu questions, go to clickorlando.com health. We have more information for you right there.